Hi everyone, I'm Tom Johnson. We introduced you to Dr. Allen a few weeks back, showed you how he's running seven marathons in seven days on seven different continents. We are feeling whole in South Beach to bring you an update. More with Dr. Allen in just a few minutes. First though, February is Heart Month, and within Heart Month is Organ Donor Day, and we recently met a woman whose story beats for both. I mean, if this is what I gotta do, this is what I gotta do. That was Melody Stankavage's attitude when doctors told her she needed a new heart. Pretty shocking when you're told that you're at the point right now in your life that you, you need to go on the transplant list. Her stay on that list would last more than two years before she got her new heart here at Advent Health Orlando. But she was not content to just sit and wait. I felt like I needed to do something for other people. So she looked to TransLife, which is now called Our Legacy. Jacqueline Cooser worked there back then. She kept sending us notes about wanting to volunteer, and I reached out to her. And Melody began helping the organ procurement organization, which would eventually find her donor heart. I wanted to go out, and I wanted to kind of spread the word. Let other people know that there was hope. And she did. It made me feel good inside. Right up until she got the call. Hope was not lost and her new heart was found. Now she wants everyone to know. Donate every organ that you have to save somebody else's life. And support organ procurement organizations like Our Legacy. They help you get through the bad times, the good times, everything. And if you'd like to learn more about Our Legacy, you can find them online. Their web address is ourlegacyfl.org. The Central Florida Division's transplant teams among the best, most experienced in the nation. That is Dr. Bobby Nabonaputi and Dr. Michael Angelis. Dr. Nabonaputi recently passed 1,000 liver, kidney, and pancreas transplants while here at Advent Health. Dr. Angelis also passed that incredible mark with Advent Health recently. That puts them among the top 1% of transplant surgeons in the nation. There's very few doctors in the United States in the last 15 years who've done as many transplants as I have or, or Dr. Bobby. And to have two in one institution just shows you the experience that Advent Health has. With enough quantity and consistency, those two things together uh, tell our patients and our referring physicians what, what quality they can expect from us. We've told you a lot about Ross Chastain lately. He's the driver of the Chip Ganassi Racing number 77 Advent Health Chevy, the first Advent Health car to ever compete in the Daytona 500. We wanted to let you know Ross was in the top 10 for a good stretch of the Daytona 500. He officially finished 25th. Now, back to the story that brought us here to Miami Beach. Dr. Luis Allen began running 10 years ago after surviving a terror attack overseas. This year, he decided to run something called the World Marathon Challenge. Seven marathons in seven days on seven different continents. And it all ends right here on this path through South Beach. It is impossible to know what it's like to run 183.4 miles in seven days <laughs> unless you've done it. I got my life. <laughs> which Dr. Lewis Allen just did. Seven marathons in seven days on all seven continents with the final 26.2 miles here in South Beach. I thought it was impossible, but I decided to step out there and with the support of everyone and with prayers, we gave it a try. <laughs> this day began well before the sun even came up. Funny. When Advent Health team members surprised Dr. Allen by driving down from Central Florida in the middle of the night. Very quickly though, it was time to run. The finale of a challenge which saw Dr. Allen run marathons in South Africa, Antarctica, Australia, Dubai, Spain, Brazil, I haven't seen a bed in seven days. <laughs> and finally Miami Beach. In the end, Dr. Allen says the support, the love shown by his Advent Health team. I think it's amazing. I couldn't do it. <laughs> friends and family. Excited for him, thrilled, thank God. Is what kept him going. At day number seven, 
you really need that um, support. Helped him push through one of the most physically difficult days of his life. It really changed this race. It, it gave me the strength that I needed for this race. And though he did not win, at 56 years old, he finished, showed the heart of a champion, and gained new wisdom. There is new meaning, new challenges in, in life that I'm hoping that I will be able to um, uh, serve my patients um, better. And like everyone, we are so proud of you, Dr. Allen. Hey, check out this major milestone in the Advent Health Medical Group. This is a history-making moment. Advent Health Medical Group just completed its first telehealth ICU cases. These carts can help with admissions, emergent patient evaluations, test review, procedural supervision, and more. What a great picture of the week as Advent Health Critical Care Telehealth improves the product even more. And that'll do it for us from South Beach. Don't forget to send us your pictures and videos to Advent Health TV at adventhealth.com. See you next time.